Now, the one thing that uh, we don't want to complicate you with is the repeat pattern. We want you to stay under 10 inches, no more than no more than than a foot, no more than 12 inches, but somewhere that's going down from there, four inches, eight inches is a good repeat pattern. You can have a repeat that is straight repeat. That means that if the repeat is every 10 inches, then every 10 inches it will match. You can have a straight repeat and then if you don't want to have to match for the first time that you're hanging paper, what you might want to buy is what's called a random repeat. The one repeat that you want to try to stay away from until you get more experience with hanging wallpaper is a drop repeat. Because a drop repeat, each piece changes. It goes up, back to the original height, down, up, down. It's a little more complicated to figure with a drop repeat. So being that we're just getting started an introductory video to get you started to hanging wallpaper, let's stay with either a straight repeat, no more than 10 inches, or a random repeat, which has no repeat at all. You just hang it. And what you want to do is you want to figure you have eight high for the height of the wall. But that's the height of the wall. Above and below, you'll want two inches for trimming. Two inches above and two inches below. And it's very important that you have that because as you go across the room, you might see that the, the height gets an inch or so uh, higher or it gets lower. And you want to be able to make sure that you have enough paper that you're matching properly and uh, and and doing and you and you're not wasting a whole lot of paper because of it. Now the the way to do this is never cut more than two or three strips at a time and make sure that you're following the same way. And if you do that, it'll take just a little bit more time, not too much more time, but you'll be sure that you're cutting the paper properly and you're not making patch work, work, making things where you have to have it patched uh, just a little bit. So, I think that's all that you really need to know to go to the uh, wallpaper store and, uh, and order the paper. Uh, again, with the importance is to have this extra bit here so that you don't have to, uh, you know, hang the wallpaper that you know that isn't quite, it's too short or you've made a mistake on it, or even for that matter that the manufacturer might have made a mistake in printing it and there's some blobs or something like that in the paper, which does happen occasionally. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a perfect industry, and, uh, but if you take your time, you work with attention, and you work in, a, in a, an attentive way, you're going to do a fantastic job and you're going to feel tremendously proud of what you've done. Okay, that's it. This is, uh, this is uh, the final thing after watching everything. And uh, I hope you have the confidence now to go out and to measure your room and to get these figures that I've just showed you and go to the uh, wallpaper store, order your wallpaper, and do a fantastic job of hanging it. And I'm happy that I could be of some help to you.